That would be fun to, since I'm sitting around doing nothing, <laughs> watching the grass grow, um, show how to do some swing beats on the uh, computer. And uh, so this is making your computer swing. <laughs> Bite a few drinks and whatever. Um, anyway, uh, this is going to... I think the the easiest one to do to start off with is one where it's like a cross stick um, on two and four kind of beat. I'm going to put the whole rhythm section on so you can kind of get the gist of how to do this. None of us are drummers, so we're, well, not all of us are not drummers, but I am definitely not a drummer. I had a drum set for a little while, uh, and that was dangerous. But uh, anyway, so I kind of knew the rudiments of it, not to make a little funny little joke there. Um, Anyway, so I'm going to start with the very basics. So I'm going to start with a, uh, I'm going to start with a hi hat on two and four. So I, I found this in the '70s kit. This is in Logic, by the way. I'm doing this, which has all the instruments built in, which is kind of nice. It's got about, I don't know, it's got a billion different drum sets you can kind of choose from. '70s kit is kind of cool because um, I'm going to hit record here. Uh, there is on the keyboard different hi hats, open hi hats, some hit ones, and then there's down here, there's a closed hi-hat. It's got a nice little snap to it, which I kind of like. So I found that not all drum sets have that on this kit, but or on this on this program, but that one does. I'm going to quantize this to a quarter note. And uh, I set my tempo up here for 135. And uh, I don't want to set it over 140. And I'll get, I'll get to the reasons for that, no matter what the tempo is. I got to set it for a, 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 a slower tempo because it's just too hard to try and do stuff in real time. So I'm going to do this at 135. So, all right, I'm going to hit record. I haven't had record here. And I'm going to hit on two and four. So do a little click here and there. I'm going to start on bar two. One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, there we go. So I have my two and four. I'm just going to... Um, uh, use this, uh, there's a thing called snap up here, and I'm going to set this for a bar, and that's going to, I'm going to trim this so that I just get, I'm going to point at this and get rid of that, hit delete, and then I'm going to point at that and hit command R, and there's a repeat, and so I've got 23 already set. Uh, I'm going to do two, two choruses of the 12 bar blues, so I'm going to do that. So now I have 24 bars of this. We're swinging already. Anybody want to dance? Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> Maybe not. Unless you're with the Lawrence Welk Band, then everybody dance. How about that? That's interesting. Or is it? Um, so anyway, that's the first part of it. Now, the next part, I'm going to do a real simple um, kick drum thing. And uh, this is going to be what they call four on the floor. And I've got my... There's a variety of kick drums. I'm going to use the 70s kick drum. That sounds like this. I think normally it's down an octave, but I've had to move everything up uh, using my keyboard here, using the octave shifts to make make, make room so that the the um, camera thing I'm pointing at there can see. So there's a little B. So this has got a nice little thing to it. There's another kick drum here, but I don't know. It's not as uh, jazzy. I like this kind of big, heavier kick. So what I'm going to do is play four beats. Um, and, you know, I can I can wimp out and do a... Um, uh, a loop or something, but I I found in doing these things sometimes it's better that you play like a you know like I'll do a whole chorus of it because you the the different ways that you hit this or how hard you hit it actually adds to the to performance. So I'm going to do four on the floor. One, two, three, four. Little accent on two and four. Would be the C chord here. I'm in C. Oh, you can't tell, huh? So I did 12 bars worth. I'm going to um, trim this a little bit so that it, uh, it comes out to exactly 12 bars. Um, I'm holding down Command and doing that. So now here's 12 bars uh, quantized to a quarter note. And so I'm going to do, I'm going to repeat that since I'm doing 24 bars and had a nice little feel to it. A little accent on two and four, just a slight bit. So I'm going to highlight that and then hit repeat and then uh, 
there's several ways that you can repeat these these things. You can drag and drop or whatever, but uh, this is easy for me. So now I have 12 more bars over here. Okay, so we're good. So I have... Um, okay. So now I'm going to do the rim. And uh, there is a... Um, in the uh, uh, drum kits, there's a studio tool kit, which is nice. Some of the rims I don't like. I had to go find some rims, and, and or cross sticks, as they're called, as Mr. Erskine, Peter sent me a little note one time it's called cross stick x stick i think it's called and um so anyway uh so what i'm going to do is just the basic band used to do this all the time it's very simple and that's just to hit two and four so i'm going to find my cross sticks here there's one uh there's one let me see if i can move one down here there's that one there's that one i'll try that one it's got a nice little wood sound to it. Maybe I'll use that one. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to hit two and four on that. Okay. So this I'm doing what the hi hat's doing. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Mm. Oops. <laughs> Made a mistake there. My the finger went uh, one more than I wanted it to. It happens a lot at my age. Oh, I'm hitting it too hard. <laughs> that also happens at my age. Not enough, though. Okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna ch chintz out here. I'm gonna trim this, and um, there we go. And I got that going. So now I have this. This is four bars worth. So I'm gonna do uh, uh, three more of these, uh, and then four for the next set. So three. Was that seven times? I'm not good at math, so I'm going to go seven times, boom, like that. So now we've got our rhythm section kind of doing the, nice, okay. Uh, I'm going to put the bass on now, uh, just for the fun of it, um, and I'm going to change the quantizing to, uh, and there's several ways to do this, to a swing kind of a feel, which is like an eighth note triple. Da 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 and so it's dun da dun da dun da dun da dun that kind of feel to it. And so my bass. I don't know if you can see I've got some chord changes over here. It's a blues. It's C7, F7, C7, F7. It's the 12 bar blues. And there's a little turnaround at the end. So the thing about the bass, by the way, this is the upright bass in logic. It's good. There's a there's a there's a few of them. This one is particularly good. I like it a bit. I added a little bit of compression on it, and I know this is going to look silly for those of you who I, I, I made this little thing for the uh, for the EQ, and the reason is is that this particular um, patch doesn't have a lot of highs to it, and you like hearing that that high uh, end of the, the high strings with the with the bass, and I added a little more bass to it, so I had this funny thing. It looks like the, the Rocky Mountains here, uh, but it actually works, and uh, it kind of works works nice. Gives fills it out pretty nice. Um, so um, the, the other thing you got to worry about the bass when you're doing, or you're just going to do quarter notes. Uh, you can do. I can add a few things, but basically quarter notes. All you have to do is get to the root. So like the first chord is C7. So I could go. Then I got to get to F. So whatever you do, get to the to the root of the chord on the first uh, first beat of each bar. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do two choruses of this, just uh, doing uh, quarter notes. And some patterns, you know. Lots of moving by half steps. Uh, so the, okay, so I'm going to do that. Here we go. And um, here goes.
there it is. Actually, you know, I should put an ending on this thing. Uh, I'll do this. I'm going to sneak back here and uh, put an ending on this. I got too many of these rims. I got to get rid of some of these. Uh, <laughs> get rid of these guys. And there's a couple of them. Okay, so now I've got, um, and I use that eighth note triplet thing, so I've got a nice little kind of feel here. Okay, we're swinging. We're swinging. So now I'm going to add, um, um, I'm going to add uh, uh, maybe the time here. Uh, there's some seven, The 70s kit has some nice little symbols to it. Um, that's a nice little ride symbol. There's another one here. Uh, I snuck one in here, but you have to go find it. There's a Chinese symbol in the China kit. In the Asian kit, I'm sorry. That's nice because I always like the China symbol. But these ride symbols work really good. And there's a little crash symbol here. That's not that little, though. <laughs> I might add the crash later. Let me just do the time. Now, those of you... You know this, Pete, right? It's, you, you can use quarter notes and mix it up with the little ding, 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 ding. Don't too much of the ding, 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 ding. Just give it some quarter notes, too, and then every once in a while, ding, ding, ding. So kind of at your, at your random leisure, okay? So here we go. I'm going to add this. One, two, three, four. Tom Tom. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, you can do a little Tom Tom build like, like that. The simpler the better. Uh, let me do it again. Start at the top. About to do a little fill. Oh, let, let me go back again. <laughs> uh, one, two, three. Ride symbol to this. Okay, so I've got a little swing thing happening here. Uh, I did a little fill at the beginning, not a great one, but but um, boom. Okay, this is cooking. Mm -hmm. How about that fill? <laughs> you can do it more complicated if you want. So sometimes I do like a separate track and just do a little fill and a little crash. It's always a good idea to have a crash on the, a new section. Like a new, this is 12 bars, so at the end of 12 bars, do another little crash. So now I'm going to add a little guitar, and this is my comping guitar. And uh, again, um, not a guitar player. I just play one on TV. No, I don't really. Uh, but what's cool about this, if you use the, these uh, dominant seventh chords in the 12 bar blues, uh, you can play four, four beats of the bar like you're doing with the, uh, um, like the kick drum or whatever, so it's playing all four beats. But you can just use, if you want to use just the tritones of each of these. For example, C7 uh, is B flat and E. You got a couple different ones. And then uh, F7 is E flat, A. And maybe a little accent on two and four. So let's do this. See how this works. <laughs> False alarm. Okay, 
So I've got my little comping guitar. I'm going to clean this up here. And um, I did quarter notes and I quantized it as such. Uh, but if you're pretty good with quarter notes, it's kind of a good idea maybe not to quantize let's see, and uh, maybe leave the quantize off. Only because it kind of gives a feeling like you're just not hitting these notes at exactly the same time. Um, at this tempo, it kind of works. Let me see what it sounds like here. Okay, so you get the idea. Uh, I'm going to do this. This will drive some people nuts. Um, I'm going to add a, a, a conga. Um, I found this, and this is in the Latin kit. <laughs> Not everybody likes congas on jazz. That's oh, I forgot. You know what I forgot to do? By the way, when I mis make mistakes here, that's just what I do all the time. So don't uh, don't think this is going to be like perfection all the time here. I'm going to repeat this one time, this guitar thing we just did, and so that means it's, it's going to do like the 12 bars. Now I'm going to do the conga. I'm just going to do four bars. So the conga part would be rest, quarter note, uh, like that. So I'll play it and you'll get it just a bit. Again, I got to quantize this to this. So here comes. Oop, I got to erase that. Okay, so now I can I can use that as a, as a background. It's not really particularly in, in front, so I, if it's tucked in the back, I can repeat this without it sounding too weird. So repeat this, uh, I don't know, how many times? Seven? That was too many, wasn't it last time? Yeah, I wound over too many. <laughs> there you go. All right, so now we have our little drum set going here and our guitar. So now I'm going to add piano. Um, I'm using um, a program. I have a really good, uh, a great friend and great piano player, Tom Rainier, who hit me to this program called Ivory, and uh, it's really good. They've got there's an American Grand uh, that you can buy, and then install it on here, and I have that uh, here as well. I'm going to take the quantize off because uh, the piano does not need to be quantized. All these drums have to be quantized. You cannot do these drums without being quantized. Drummers do this naturally, but uh, for the rest of us bozos, <laughs> if, if you don't quantize, every time you add something, you, you, the whole thing gets further off. Um, let me check the reverb if I have too much reverb on this thing. No, it looks like it's about right. I got 24%. And so I'm just going to add some piano parts, just some comping. Uh, my piano is next to me over here on this other side, so you're not going to see hands. I'm just going to gonna play along. Just going to do some simple comping of uh, thirds and sevenths in the left hand. There are a series of left hand voicings which you can get um, probably anywhere. And um, so I'm going to move my move myself over a little bit so I can play. And uh, thank God it's in the key of C because C sounds good today. I'll move this over here. Oh, not, not moving. Oh. You see that? That's kind of cool. Alright, here we go. So, um, this has more of a piano feel over here on this keyboard, so I'm going to play that. So I'm just going to comp, do nothing more than that. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four.
things. My microphone went flying. Uh, let me turn this off. And also I noticed that the uh, guitar at the very end is still, because I repeated it, is playing the, uh, the turnaround. So actually what I can do with the guitar is just have him not play. Uh, don't tell the guitar player this though. Uh, that's here, so I'm just going to take this and move this over. So let's see what happens here. Be careful driving home. <laughs> okay, so there's our little band. And it's just a, the Basie band used to use this beat a lot. I mean, they would play entire tunes where the drummer would, uh, would do this. And there's other things you can add. Um, let me see if I can throw one out at you. I actually didn't plan on doing this, but uh, in the 70s kit, let me see. Um, let me see if there was a, not that. <laughs> Kind of an open hi hat thing you could put in every once in a while. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna copy this track verbatim here, uh, so uh, so I'm using that. And so every once in a while I'm gonna take the volume up it down a little bit, uh, and every once in a while just add this in. dangerous uh, again you, you can use it use that or not I have another drum set I use that with and it's actually a little, a little more elegant sounding than, than that but actually oh, this is all I wanted to really show you so basically um, I have this little band uh, swinging like you as you hear it oh, I gotta get rid of this extra thing here uh, let's sneak in here and try and grab this guy um, got this little extra there it is Bing. okay he's gone now let me see if I get a clean start on this. And... See that, that kind of adds a little bit, that little open hi-hat thing. It just gives it a little break, you know. That wasn't the best place to put it. <laughs> it's probably better on two and four. This one's better. Now the cool thing about this is, um, first of all, it's swinging. That's one cool thing. But you can change the tempo on this, and it really doesn't really make much difference. Uh, it, it, if you don't know MIDI, it doesn't change the pitch or anything like that. So, for example, I could take this up to 170. I would never, ever try and sequence something at past 140 uh, when I'm doing a jazz beat. You can do it with straight eights, but swinging and trying to get the feel of a triplet at a very a fast tempo, it's just about impossible. So if I, even if I do something, if I'm sequencing something at, at 200 or 240 or 210 or something like that, or even you know anything higher than 140, I do it at 140 or 135 first, because it really doesn't mess with much, much different. The only thing you might have to do if you're playing uh, these kinds of beats, and I'll show you some stuff later on, but uh, you may have to play a little bit simpler if you know that you're gonna be uh, playing this at a faster tempo. But here's a faster tempo. So it's like this. Okay, there it is. There's a great way of just getting the, the uh, computer to swing. And at this point, you can add a, a tenor saxophone part. I happen to have one of those laying around the house. Or if you got a trumpet or a trombone, you can throw something on and, um, and play with this. 
And then the other beauty of this thing is that you can say, okay, well, you can do this. Um, just for the, I'm gonna, you're not cheating or anything. I'm going to um, split this and so that I can repeat this whole section here. So I'm going to um, highlight all the tracks, which is uh, Command A, like that. And then I'm going to set this cursor to the bar 2, where this X thing actually starts. And I'm going to do uh, Erase by Playhead, uh, or Split by Playhead. And uh, so now I have this whole section. And uh, although I have an ending on this, that's, that won't necessarily work, but you can... If I didn't have an ending on this, you could highlight this whole thing and then repeat it as many times as you want as well. So it's actually a bad example. So, But anyway, it's just, uh, try this. It's kind of fun. You want to play faster? Okay. How about 200? Okay, there you go. So that's one, and I'll show you some different variations of, of how to make it, how to do brushes and, and some other forms of swing beats that are kind of easy to shuffle and whatever. But this is a good starter. So try this at home. You can actually try this at home because that's the only place you are right now. All right, see you later.